to draw and how to rig. Piggy course. Welcome to this grease pencil drawing and rigging course for beginners. This was supposed to be a paid course, but I decided to finally publish it for free. You will learn everything you need to make and rig the piggy, but you can support me by buying the extended version from my Gumroad. The final rig is included in the download, or you can buy it separately. This course is beginner friendly, but you may want to watch the general beginner tutorial first and the introduction videos to rigging and wheat. The links are in the description. Pay attention to the green text that appears during the video as it contains very important information. In this second part, we prepare the character for Wigan by organizing strokes in layers, creating masks, creating new shapes and animations for the mouth, eyes, etc. and resampling strokes. Let's start. Now let's start moving strokes to new layers. So we'll need a separate layer for the eye and for the fill of the eye, for the other eye and its fill for the nose. Because for all these we will use time offset. Each arm in its separate layer the legs can be in the same layer and also the irises because we want to use those layers for interpolation let's create a few layers the layers on the very top should be the eyes so let's name this i r for right and this one i l for left we can put the irises here we should put the irises under the eyes because they will be hidden with the stroke of the eye here the irises can't cross this stroke now we name this eye fill because we'll have a separate layer for the fill and that fill will act as a mask so that if the iris gets out of the eye it won't be visible. So i.fill.r and then let's create more layers i.fill.l and now we create the head then we create the right arm more layers arm dot l i think the left arm should be behind the body so let's create the body layer body and move it up using this arrow and now we have right arm and then the body and then the left arm behind the body let's name this one leg dot r and this one leg dot left let's name this one shadow and now we start moving strokes so all the strokes are in these two layers let's hide one of them these ones need to be moved last on top of the other strokes and the shoes too they will need to be on top of the feet so let's go to edit mode tap let's select the body m and choose the body layer now we hide this guy and we unhide this one i think to avoid confusion i will hide all the other layers so let's select it and let's click on this icon here so this will hide all the layers and also lock them all let's move the shadow to the shadow layer do m shadow the right leg m move it to leg r and the left leg it doesn't need to be moved then we select the right arm m and then we select the left arm m again arm left the head but we need to move the eyes first so the right eye fill not this one this is the right eye stroke that we will move m to i r here and then the fill m we move it to i fill r then this stroke m i l the left eye layer and then this one m i fill l yeah i forgot to add a layer for the mouth so the mouth can be above everything or just above the head layer so plus name this one mouth select the mouth it is selected so we do m and move it to the mouth layer and now we can hide the, the mouth layer so that we can see the strokes that need to be moved and now we can box select everything and move everything m to the head layer now we can unhide everything maybe by clicking again on this icon and clicking again yes we are still missing our shoes and our eyelashes and irises so let's go to the shadow layer and i think i will hide everything again so the cheek let's select it m move it to the head layer the irises let's do box select m move them to the irises layer and these eyelashes m to the right eye layer box select these ones m left eye and yes the ear and it's fell to the head layer and we have now the shoes so the right shoe m to the right leg layer and the left shoe 
to the left leg layer we keep the shadow in this layer let's do again this icon everything seems to be okay let's go back to draw mode i can see one problem though here in the ear you see that the ear fill is on top of this stroke here so we need to put this fill behind this stroke so we go to edit mode tap and then select this fill and then we go to stroke arrange and we do send to back and make it the last stroke in this layer and it works now we'll need to duplicate the head layer because we will need the nose to be in a separate layer too because we'll have a separate animation for the nose and another one for the shin here when the mouth opens we want the shin to go larger so to have two separate animation and two separate interpolations for the nose and the shin we will need two separate layers that's why we'll go and duplicate the head layer so we select it then we click on this arrow duplicate let's put this new one behind the head layer and name it nose hide the head layer and there are some strokes that we don't need for example the ears so we select the ears box select xd and then the cheek xd and voila now we hide the nose and unhide the head and here we can delete some strokes like the like the nose xd and then unhide them both we won't keep it like that we will add a mask to hide this area from the head layer so that the nose under the head can be fully visible so we'll create another layer above the arm plus and we name it head mask head dot mask and we will create a circle so let's go to draw mode select our circle tool make sure a fill is selected and then we can do this the solid stroke is pinned let's unpin it select a solid fill i will put it instead above the head layer and maybe hide the head layer so we can see the nose fully so with the head mask still selected we can create the circle here and hide the whole nose g to move it like this let's make it a little bigger so that when we animate the nose we have room to create the new nose shape nice now middle mouse button or enter i will lower the opacity a little bit so we can see it and then go to sculpt mode let's do alt to select this guy and fit it better to our nose we can adjust it later after drawing the new shape now let's enable masking in the head layer let's unhide it too let's select it and go here under masks click on the plus sign and select your head mask layer you see if we hide the mask that the mask is hiding the whole head except this area let's hide the nose and yes this is what the mask is doing right now it's hiding everything except this area and we want the opposite so we go here to this icon here it's called invert mask we click on it and voila this is what we want now we can unhide the nose now we have the mask layer is still showing so we just lower the opacity to zero and voila it's working now i think it doesn't matter where we put the mask we can put it again under the head and the nose layers now let's go back to draw mode Control tab draw mode and we will add some frames for the mouth for the arms etc so to add new frames we are here in frame one everything we've done we did it in frame one as you can see in the dop sheet here in grease pencil mode these are the keyframes in frame one for each and every layer and we should go to frame two by hitting the right arrow in your keyboard here and draw another mouth shape for that we should select the mouth first you can either select it here or select it here in the layers panel and you can start drawing but before that you need to make sure that this auto key button is enabled and that you are in frame 2 and your mouth layer is active and we can draw a new mouth shape the circle tool is selected let's select our solid stroke and select our medium pink and we can draw a circle like this let's move it with g and middle mouse button or enter now we go to frame 3 right arrow in the keyboard draw a sad mouth so this arc tool and like this and in mouse button go to frame 4 and add a new mouth shape so again the arc let's move it like this let's do e to extend it let's move this blue ball here and this yellow ball here like this and we have a laughing picky now and middle mouse button very nice now we have four frames the shadows you see here is the onion skin in. if you don't want to see it you can go here to overlays and disable onion skin or you can disable it individually for each layer so for the mouth for example you go to this icon and disable onion skin let's go to edit mode and quickly fix the laughing mouth we want just to close this shape here so f 
and back to draw mode tab and now i want to fill the mouse for that let's go here use the middle mouse button to scroll like this and we have our four frames here so two of them are closed shapes and two are open shapes let's put the open shapes together so let's move them with the left mouse button and then let's box select them and move them back here now we have happy mouth sad mouth surprised mouth and laughing mouth now i want to fill them but i'm too lazy i don't want to go to each frame and fill it so i just box select both shapes and then go here and enable multi-frame and now i can see both shapes here and i select my fill tool solid fill is selected i select my dark pink color and then go and fill it but you see that the filling wasn't perfect. That is because Blender is taking into account other layers to the side, the edge of the filling. Let's hide the head and the nose. And you see that the body is crossing the mouth and the fill tool just filled this area. So let's undo this. Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. And now we go to the settings of our filling tool here under advanced and change the mode here under layers from taking into account all visible layers to just the active layer. So the active layer is the mouth and now it won't take into account any shape outside of this layer that is crossing our mouth. So again, we try to fill it. Both are filled correctly. Now we can disable multi-frame now let's make some shapes for the left arm so let's go here and select the left arm layer this time i want to create the arm from scratch but i will just duplicate this frame so we select this frame shift d and duplicate it to frame 2 let's go to sculpt mode let's do a point and finger she will point with this finger so we do alt left click and now we start sculpting this finger and only this finger will be sculpted and then let's select this one and let's bend this finger alt left click on this one select it and sculpt it to bend this finger like this and then the thumb and then let's duplicate again frame one shift d duplicate it to frame three let's get the playhead here i wonder why this line is not straight let's do alt left click and try to straighten it with shift nice let's do the same for the other one on the click and smooth it let's go to edit mode and select these strokes here so there is the shortcut control m z i think yes to flip it on the z axis and there is another method i used to use is to do rotate and then x so on the x axis and then 180 on the numpad and this way you rotate it 180 degrees on the x axis and you have this so these are two methods to flip your strokes and now we can do r like this so back to sculpt mode let's do alt left click again and get the thumb like this alt left click close this finger alt left click I could have just drawn these shapes instead of sculpting them, but I think it's a good exercise in sculpting. You can zoom in if you want to, like here, it's too tight. And if you zoom in, you have more space and you can edit this line here without touching the other line here. So we have three shapes for our hand. It seems that a lot of frames were created for other layers. I don't know why that happened. Let's expand this area here. And delete all the frames we don't need so we are in arm left let's delete these box select keep only the first ones xd and then box select these be careful the mouth frames don't delete them xd again and then these ones x and d nice now i will enable auto lock in active layers so that we don't add frames by accident to the layers that we are not editing it seems that we fixed the arm in frame 3 but in frame 2 and frame 1 there's still a problem i think we can use multi-frame select the first and second frame here enable multi-frame let's select the selection tool here and box select the arms select our push tool again and shift and try to fix the arm here let's disable multi-frame and check our arms yes all three seem fine so now we have these shapes and we have this arm that has no hand shapes we could create hand shapes for this one or we could just duplicate the left hand so we could have created the shapes before applying the mirror modifier but as i said you can't remember everything and you can't do everything in order and if you forget to do something you can fix it later so let's delete the right arm minus sign let's go to the modifiers panel and add a new mirror modifier it mirrors everything again under influence we choose the left arm and now we can go to object mode apply the modifier 
Voila, now we have two arms with the same frames but on the same layer. We will now again to the layers panel. We select our left arm. Let's create a new layer. We could have just kept the right arm layer and deleted the strokes inside it. So arm dots R. Back to the left arm. Go to edit mode. We select all three frames. Again, enable multi-frame. Box select everything from the right side and do M and move them to the arm R layer. And now we have the left arm and the right arm and they have their frames too you can of course add as many hand shapes as many mouth shapes as you want and you can also add frames with hands that hold objects for example even if you don't do it now you can do it later after rigging just make sure that the weight painting is done correctly now let's select the nose layer and in frame 2 we will create a pinched nose for the piggy's oink back to sculpt mode i can see my nose layer here Let's select this pinching tool here and try it on the nose. So zoom out, make the brush a little bit bigger and give it a click here. It doesn't work because the strokes are not selected. So let's just disable selections here. And now each stroke can be affected by sculpting. Nice. Let's use our pushing tool again and try to make a shape like this. Just be careful here on the edges. We don't want the stroke of the nose layer to get further from the stroke of the head. So keep these aligned and for the rest you can do almost anything you want. And also take care of the perimeter of the mask. Don't get out of this area. Again check the strokes here. Make sure that they are aligned. So let's check with the arrows on the keyboard. Yes I like this except here I don't know. We actually have overlapping strokes here, one in the nose layer and one in the head layer. So I think I will delete these extra strokes here in the nose layer. Let's hide the head layer, enable multi-frame. Let's select both keyframes and start to select these strokes here. Box select, but you see that we selected the fill too. We don't want that. So we go to the materials panel and we lock the solid fill so that it can't be selected. But it was selected before locking it, so now we can deselect it. So we unlock, we deselect by clicking away from it or by doing Alt A to deselect everything. Lock again and we start selecting again, maybe from here. We should be selecting points in both frames because both are selected and multi-frame is enabled. Now shift select and box select shift box select again zoom in here and shift box select here and now we can do x and not dissolve because if you do dissolve it will create a line between the points that were not dissolved so we do x and then points either you click here or you do p on the keyboard and you have this so now we check the other frame it worked now we unhide the head layer don't forget to unlock your material because later it may cause some problems and you just completely forget that your material is locked and disable multi-frame too. And now we can go back to the mask layer and try to adjust it and make it as close to the nose as possible without overlapping it. Make sure you are in frame 1 when you are editing your mask so that you don't create a new keyframe by mistake like here, Control Z. Or you just disable the auto key in and now you can edit it in any frame you want and all the edits will be applied to the previous frame. Yes. Maybe if we go to wireframe mode here. No, it's not suitable for this. Maybe here. Yes, here is clearer. Solid mode. Adjust it and check both frame 1 and frame 2. And yeah, the mask seems optimized enough now. Now let's do some resampling. This is an optional step, but I like to have some consistency in my strokes. So let's go to edit mode. Go here to the layers panel under this arrow, disable auto lock inactive layers and do A to select everything. And you see that we have some strokes that have like less points and others that are too dense. And I want to have some consistency in my strokes. So we need to select all strokes. We need to enable multi-frame. We need also to select all frames here. Let's do A. Do A here to select every last point. And then we go to stroke, simplify, sample. And we get this. <laughs> so we go here 
under the last operation menu and we decrease the length so i guess this is the length between each point and the next one so we decrease this more and more and more i think we will go for 0.01 so now you see the length between every two points is the same almost everywhere very nice now we can disable multi-frame again now let's do some interpolations the first one is the interpolation of the eyes to make them close we need to create a frame where the eyes are almost close so let's go here let's select one of the eyes layers click on this lock button and now let's unlock the left eye the right eye fill and the left eye fill go to frame 47 if we go here under output you see that we have an fps of 24 so here at 48 we will have two seconds so the last frame the 48th will have completely closed eyes but here in 47 we will have almost closed eyes now we duplicate the first four frames here so they are all four selected and now shift d and duplicate this one to frame 47 and now we will select only the eyes both strokes and fills l to select everything s z to resize on the z axis not closed completely and then i will move my lashes here the first one select then l to select everything move it with g rotate it a little bit move it again do the same here l rotate move try to have some symmetry between the two eyes select one point here l to select everything r and move it here then select this one l r move with g and we have this so here this is the first frame and this is frame 47 now we can interpolate between these two frames anywhere between them Control shift e and we create interpolation it was created in just one frame so we go here in the last operation menu if you can see it you just expand it and you change here from active to all layers and by all layers it means all the layers that are unlocked so here we have this a very quick way to do animation now let's go to frame 48 i think i will duplicate just these two frames so shift t yes we delete everything even the fills so box select and then l to select all the points and then x you can do d here because we are deleting everything let's go to draw mode and create some arcs so one arc with the medium pink and create one arc here maybe here yes mid mouse button and create another one here yes back to edit mode we created the eyes in the same layer in the right eye layer so with this selected we do m and we move it to the left eye and now we can do yes stroke arrange send to back let's sample these two so let's select one point here and shift select one point here stroke yes simplify sample and now they have a length of 0 0.012 just like the other strokes let's select our first lash l r I hit H by mistake and have hidden a layer. So we do control Z, G, move it here. Select this one, L, R, G, R. Now we do the same here, L, R, G. Try to keep some symmetry between these two. Again, select L, R, and like this. And now we have this. We just have one problem is that these eyes are visible. Let's go to the layers panel, select the RSS, enable masking here, and select our masks the left eye fell and then plus again and the right eye fell so like this the eyes look faded but when you animate you can see the eyes and here they are hidden i can see a fill here in frame 47 yes yeah, something i did wrong i will just select these two frames so shift d and duplicate here yes this should fix it let's duplicate again these two guys shift d delete these two l x d to delete and now we have this you see if you do select all these ones are yellow but these ones are blue so blue means that they are like interpolation keyframes and yellow are regular keyframes but we can turn them to yellow so select these four right click and change keyframe type from breakdown to keyframe select all now you see that these are blue and these are yellow now let's do the head as i said we want to have an animation for the shin going like down and up so we select the head layer i think i'm going to enable auto lock inactive layers again here nice so we have the head selected middle mouse button to move here rotate the mouse wheel to zoom in and out in the timeline and then we select this keyframe and shift d and duplicate it to frame 48 and now we can go to sculpt mode and we try to make the shin bigger a bigger brush is better and again be careful of this edge line here we want these strokes here to be aligned so if we had shape keys with grease pencil we wouldn't need a separate layer just to do this we would just create a shape key 
and be able in the same layer to to pinch the nose and to create this shape here so i think the shin is big enough now again we can go here between these two frames and go here and do Control shift e or we should go either to edit mode or draw mode in draw mode you do draw interplay sequence and in edit mode you do grease pencil interplay sequence and here we have only one layer unlocked and we have this interpolation of the shin and of the, the cheek too. This is the end of part 2. Subscribe, leave a like and if you have any questions leave them in the comments section. In the next video we create the armature, rename and parent the bones, symmetrize them, create inverse kinematics, connect the armature to our character and add weight to vertex groups. Thanks for watching and peace.